Well, they just did a study of all of the 50 states of our abilities to move people off of welfare to work. And out of all 50 states, Missouri ranks 50th. Now look, I know that we can do better. I know that we can do better, but for us to do better, it's going to take strong, conservative leadership from outside of the political establishment. So a couple key things that you need to know about me. Number one, I am pro-life, and I'm always going to defend the lives of the unborn. Number two, I'm always going to stand up for your Second Amendment rights to defend yourselves and your family. I believe in local control of education. We should be supporting our parents and our teachers so that whether our kids are in home school, private school, or public school, they all deserve a chance at a quality education. And that is why we have to fight against Common Core. I also believe that the people of Missouri deserve a chance at world-class health care. And that's why we have to work together to repeal Obamacare. One other thing that, that, that you need to know, if, if, you, if you're thinking about joining this campaign in the last 100 hours before the election, it's important for you to know, this campaign, as we've just seen, has the political establishment terrified. And the reason why they are terrified is that they know that when I get to Jefferson City, we're going to put an end to their games. When I'm governor, we're going to ban all gifts from lobbyists. City to serve the people, go to Jefferson City to serve the people, but don't go because you're going to get free Cardinals tickets or free Chiefs tickets or free vacation for your family. The other thing we're going to do when I'm governor, we're going to close this revolving door between legislators and special interests. Do you know Missouri is one of the only states in the country where it is legal to be a legislator and a lobbyist at the same time? We're putting an end to that. I've got a very simple proposal. I said, look, when I'm governor, if you've been in office for one year and you decide you want to become a lobbyist, well, you're going to wait for one year. You've been in office for two years and you decide you want to become a lobbyist, well, you're going to wait for two years. If you're a career politician, you've been in office for 20 years, you decide you want to become a lobbyist, well, you're going to wait for 20 years. 